All right, organic pest control for fungus gnats, second edition. I definitely suggest watching the foliar. This is the second part where we're going to talk about how to get rid of the hardest part of the fungus gnats. We're also going to talk about the severity of the fungus gnat damage that can happen. The four stages of life from the eggs, the larvae, the pupae, the adult. And the biggest threat is normally you can't see what's really the damage or when it starts. Normally a week later before when you start seeing the flyers, the flying adults, that they've already got a really good infestation going on. Just to give you the breakdown of how the damage goes, larvae chew holes in the roots, cause yellowing, wilting, and eventually death. I've seen whole crops being just annihilated. You understand the adults also spread fungal disease. The foliar only kills the adult form. So if you're spraying, it's going to take a while to get your... If it's maintenance, it's okay. If it's infestation, it's going to take a while to get rid of your problem. Larvae, pupae, they eat the plant's nutrients. They are in the plant root zone taking the nutrients that you pay, all that nutrient food, and using it for their own good, taking the life from your plants. Double-sided sticky traps in four corners, um, in, in as many as you like, but right on top of the, uh, of the bottom of the base of the plant. We'll be able to tell you when they're there. Keep the environmental environment sealed and cleaned, and then don't overwater. We're going to do infestation protocol first, soil or hydro. Uh, we normally suggest going with the uh, BTI, the bacillus. Um, you can find these anywhere, Home Depot, almost any garden store, hardware store, they're everywhere. They work great. Uh, the other thing you could always use is hydrogen peroxide 3%. That's at CVS, Rite Aid, normal stores. Uh, four parts water, one part the 3% H2O2, make sure it's 3%, not some higher concentration. You'll have to dilute more. And we also use Azotrol or Azamex. Now, mind you, this is not for the foliar. This is just feeding. So you're going to be top feeding all the, or one of these. Um, for them, that's 1.5 tablespoons per gallon. Or use Gonads. It's a really good one. Just cedar oil, like 33% cedar oil. Um, it works really well getting to the root zone. Now, you just pick one from above. Add the infestation protocol foliar video, another growing under four minute video. You'll learn how to do the top part of this in a week. If you're doing this on the bottom to the plant and you're foliaring on top, you're going to get rid of your fungus net problem very fast. And then the last, that you can't wait to get to, maintenance. This is where you want to be, maintenance protocol. For soil, you just want to add a small layer, normally an inch or two, sometimes less, uh, depending on the substance. Some people use cedar chips, sand, diatomaceous earth. You're just creating a barrier for those eggs and those adults so they cannot continue laying and getting in there and creating more problems. So you put a buffer. Now, do not overwater. That's where fungus nets do their best work. For hydro systems, we recommend, once again, the mosquito dunks or BTI, go to your local store. They have many different companies. Um, Bacillus continues on. BTI, you'll, everybody knows what it is. And GoNets. Both are really great for the hydro system. Want to wish you the best of luck.